After World War II, European countries joined together with a view to modernize and transform economic growth and rising consumer affluence in Europe. The rise of mass consumerism, consumer credit and growth of large private retailers was a total transformation. This economic thrust had positive effects for both society and the consumer cooperative movement, formed by the Rochdale pioneers in 1844. 1957. The Treaty of Rome is signed on the 25th of March of 1957, creating the European Economic Community, the EEC, giving its six founding members access to a common market. Three months later, on the 11th of June, consumer cooperative organisations from Belgium, France, the Netherlands and Germany established the Consumer Cooperative Society's community, the CCSC, which was based in Paris. The CCSC's aim was to represent the interests of the consumer cooperatives at the recently created Commission and to foster cooperation between consumer cooperative federations. To strengthen the common market in agricultural products, the Common Agricultural Policy was formed on the 1st of July 1962. As a result, the Wholesale Cooperative Societies in Belgium, France and the Netherlands and Germany founded Eurocoop in Brussels on the 1st of October that year. Responsible for Agriculture and Vice President of the European Commission, Siko Mansholt worked alongside the four national Eurocoop presidents. The first Secretary General of Eurocoop, Albrecht Schurner, is appointed to coordinate a secretariat of two experts. 1966 was a milestone year for Eurocoop with the opening of the Biscuit Factory in Utrecht. This project represents the first successful experiment in collaboration for production. Eurocoop in Brussels, and the Consumer Cooperative Society's community in Paris continued to work towards a common goal, creating a unified voice of the wider consumer and cooperative sector. Consumer cooperatives are the only economic enterprises controlled by the consumer at every stage from production to consumption. In that period, Eurocoop starts trade cooperation with Nestlé and Unilever. On the 22nd of April 1969, the Eurocoop Chocolate and Confectionery Factory in Dortmund, in Germany, begins operations. In 1970, Eurocoop in Brussels and Consumer Cooperative Society's community in Paris merge two secretariats. Statutes are approved at the Eurocoop Constituent Assembly in Cologne. A third Eurocoop factory opens. A chocolate and confectionery plant in Dortmund starts producing chocolate, sweets and marzipan products. The Consumer Consultative Committee, CCC, created by the Commission with Eurocorp playing an important role. The Council of the European Communities passed a first programme for consumer protection declaring five basic consumer rights. Protection of health, protection of economic interests, compensation for damage, information and training, and representation. Eurocorp focused its activities on those rights. The work culminates five years later in 1980 with the adoption of the Consumer Protection Framework Programme. Eurocorp continues to grow and at the beginning of the 80s it represents eight member states. The Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, Italy, the United Kingdom, France, Denmark and West Germany. Bringing together over 3,000 cooperative societies, 240,000 employees, over 15 million members and more than 22,000 stores. The European Parliament also supports the consumer cooperative societies by giving full recognition as a form of enterprise with a distinctive character the European construction continues with a symbolic raise of the blue flag for the first time at the European Commission's Berlaymont in 1986. The European Union is signed in Maastricht, establishing a political union 
and strengthening economic integration with the creation of the Economic and Monetary Union. Eurocorp is leading the way by organising the European Symposium on Co-op Identity and Future Strategy in New Europe. After 33 years loyal service, Eurocorp Secretary General Albert Schorna retires. He is succeeded by Caroline Knight. On the 2nd of October 1997, the Treaty of Amsterdam is signed. Member States aim for the construction of a more social Europe, a shared goal of the cooperative vision. The Treaty of Nice is signed in 2001 to complete the adaptation of the European institutions to new member states. Donald Walsher is appointed as Eurocorp's new Secretary General. The European Commission set up the European Consumer Consultative Group. Eurocorp participates with the creation of the European Platform for Action on Diet, Physical Activity and Health. In 2006, Eurocorp is amongst the first supporters of the Sustainable Energy Week. Rodrigo Gouveia from the Portuguese movement is appointed as Secretary General. Eurocorp celebrates its 50th anniversary as an international non-profit association and begins providing technical support to consumer cooperatives worldwide. Eurocorp assists with the foundation of the Sustainable Consumption and Production Roundtable and the Retail Forum for Sustainability. Both initiatives are co-chaired by the European Commission. Eurocorp joins the celebration of the International Year of Consumer Cooperatives. The European Cooperative Week is dedicated to showcasing the contribution of the cooperative model to Europe's economy and to society. Eurocorp becomes a co-founder of the Supply Chain Initiative, which aims to guarantee fair business-to-business -business trading practices. Eurocorp steps up its contribution to the objectives of the International Cooperative Alliance and its blueprint for a cooperative decade. In 2014, Todor Ivanov from the Bulgarian movement becomes the fifth Secretary General in 57 years. Eurocorp organizes the Conference on Food Waste at Expo Milan, where the premium food partner is Coop Italia. Eurocorp and the European Commission co-organize the high-level conference on food authenticity and food integrity. The 60th anniversary brings together national associations of consumer cooperatives from 19 European countries. Together, they represent 5,000 cooperative entities at local and regional level. They employ half a million people across Europe. They operate 36,000 points of sale and together they serve 32 million consumers and members daily. Together, Eurocorp members are Europe's strongest retail force, accounting for more than 79 billion euros in annual turnover. And together, we are stronger.